Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this exercise, we're going to find, if possible, the number of elements in each of the sets A, B, and C. And we're given some information about portions of these sets. For example, we're told that A intersect B has seven elements, A intersect B intersect C has three elements, and so on. I've drawn a three-set Venn diagram and labeled the sets A, B, and C. You'll notice that the Venn diagram actually divides our universal set U into eight different regions. I'm going to label these so we can talk about them. I'm going to label the center lowercase a, then lowercase b, lowercase c, lowercase d, lowercase e, f, g, and h. I'm not going to use numbers to label these regions because I don't want to confuse the numbers with our cardinalities, which means the number of elements in each of the regions. Now our goal is to be able to figure out how many elements are in each of A, B, and C. And one way to go about that is to try to figure out how many elements are in each of the regions. For example, this center region, A, lowercase a, little almost triangular shaped region, has actually been given to us. This is often the region that I look for first because it's the overlap of all three sets. So if I have the intersection of all three sets, then I know we're talking about region A. We know that region A has three elements. So let's go ahead and label that cardinality three. That's gonna help us as we move along. I like to work from the innermost piece outward. So I usually try to figure out how many are in B or C or D next. Notice, for example, that region A together with region B is actually the intersection between set A and set C. So let's this kind of a little football shaped region here. We were told the number of elements in A intersect C is six. So in order for there to be six, in A and B together, then that means that since there were three in A, there would have had to have been six minus three equals three left for region lowercase b. So I'm gonna fill that in here as well. In fact, any of the intersections will help us in this way. Here's another one, A intersect B has seven elements. Let's identify A intersect B on our diagram. I'm going to outline it in green so we can see. This is another football shaped region. It includes only two subregions, A, lowercase a, and lowercase c, and it's in the intersection of A and B. So when we say A intersect B has seven elements in it, we're saying that together A and C have seven elements. But we already know that region A has three. So if we subtract those three from from the seven we know are total in A and C, then we get four left over. This means that there must be four elements in region lowercase c. Now there's one more intersection of two of the large original sets, capital A, capital B, and capital C, and that's the intersection between capital B and capital C, and we have information about that one over here as well. There are five elements in that one. Let's identify which regions are in that intersection. So I'm outlining in purple which regions are in that intersection. That's gonna be A and D. When the list refers to the intersection of B and C, it's referring to regions lowercase a and lowercase d. Then five minus three equals two must be left over in region lowercase d. So let's put those two in region lowercase d. So now the puzzle is becoming a little bit more clear. We need to figure out how many are in F, E, and G in order to answer the question. So far, we've used several of the facts. Let's check them off. And now let's see what's left behind. One of the facts we haven't used is the difference between B and A. In other words, we take the set B and we remove from it anything that is also in A. I'm going to draw a picture of that separately because a lot of times people have a little trouble visualizing this. So the difference between B and A, or B without A, just means to take A away from B. It's like taking a little bite out of it. And so what we have left over is everything except the piece they had in common. In our diagram up here, here's B, and we're going to take away lowercase c and lowercase a because they're part of capital A, set A. So we're removing all of that. And what's left are regions G and D. So this is telling us that there are eight elements 
between the regions G and D. Now, of course, we already knew that D had 2, so if we subtract 8 minus the 2 that are in D, we say that there must be 6 left over in region G. So we have another piece of the puzzle. So we're done with that piece of information, and now we just have two pieces of information left. Let's look at B union C. B union C means include all the regions that are in either B or C or both. So B union C will include C, G, D, and A, which are all in the set B. And it's also going to include lowercase D, A, B, and E from set C, but we've already listed D and A, so we just need to add B and E. So we know that these 24 elements are spread somewhere across these regions. Of these regions, the only one that we don't have a set cardinality for is region E, and that's good because now we can take the 24 and subtract off the total of all the other regions and we'll know how many are left in E. So we have 4 in C plus 3 in A is 7 plus 3 in B is 10 plus 2 in D is 12 plus 6 in G would give us 18. 24 minus 18 leaves us with 6. So there must be 6 elements in region E, that big part of set C. So we're done with that piece of information, and there's really only one piece of information left, and that is that the union of all three sets contains 27 elements. Well, the union of all three sets is going to include all of the regions except for H. It will have A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Of those, the only one that we don't know the cardinality of is F. And that's good, because now we can subtract 27 minus all the total of the other regions, and we'll see how many are left in F. So from the other regions, we have 6 and 2 is 8, and 6 is 14, and 3 is 17, and 3 is 20, and 4 is 24. 27 minus 24 leaves 3. That would be in region F. So we've used every piece of information we were given. We have found the number of elements in each of the little pieces except for region H. So, do we need region H in order to answer the question? No, because we were asked how many are in A and B and C. The number in set A is going to be 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. So let's see, that's going to be 7 plus 6 is 13. The number in set B is going to be 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6, which gives us 15. And the number in set C is going to be 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 6, which would be 14. If this video was helpful, please remember to like it. And remember, I take requests, so leave your questions in the comments below.